everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to car salvage 101 we are what are we mid-may now and um just thought i'd update you on the progress of uh, the sort of well this video isn't based on the cars that i've got at the moment i just thought i'd do a little quick rundown of where we're at so a couple of weeks ago we filtered through on this channel the grey cat s 500 that is still up for sale it's had no interest whatsoever i thought i priced that quite well uh, it's under three and a half for fifty eight thousand mile uh, 500 um yeah uh, it's had nothing so um but the, all the content on that is done i've got a few more videos that i can use for the four series and then we've got the one series which actually is ready to go and just needs an MOT. So content wise, starting to sort of lack a bit. Um, so today's video is going to be based a bit on uh, prices uh, of Fiat 500s and different auction sites um, that are selling them. Um, and you sort of get an idea about how really all over the place some of these prices are. Um, we're going to follow two in particular, and then at the end there's going to be a little surprise. Um, so yeah, um, in the meantime, uh, work's getting in the way quite a lot, so getting videos out is getting a bit difficult at the moment, but the weather is getting better, um, but certainly towards the end of May into June, yeah, <laughs> work is really hammering um, me on how many days I actually have off. So yeah but we need to get that grey car grey 500 gone so i can free up some cash to get another 500. so yeah um have a look at what uh, content we've got in this video and i'll come back to you at the end and uh yeah time this is a 2013 lounge with 70,000 on the clock and it's just about to sell for 1750 is that going to go Sold. right 1750 and with fees that's easy easy 2 grand out of um out of the gate um and then you're looking at uh, a delivery on top um which I and, and obviously that's going to be a cat in as well so um, yeah, when you're sort of trying to look to sell that, Sold on approval. you know, you are talking about 30% lower than market value. So, uh, you know, I'm quite surprised by that. It's due its MOT in September. Um, just kind of a quickly check on here. So this was the MOT. So it was due in September and it had advisories. So it is pretty much, I mean, you could get away with it, but I'd change the rear coils and both uh, suspension arms also need replacing, I'd say, as well, to stop any knocking. So, yeah, that 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 I thought was, was quite expensive for that. But, um, yeah, and black is not exactly what everyone's choice of colour, although in person, I do get a lot of people saying, actually, they don't find it too bad, but... Uh, yeah, it's um, hmm. interesting times again at uh, at Copart, um, hence why at the moment I don't tend to buy from there. So I would have, if if I'd bought that at 1750, I think it would have been about two two one out the door, and then they want about uh, they want about 200 pound for delivery. So that was going to set me back two, three before I'd done any repairs or anything to it. So yeah, Sold. interesting. Anyway, on with the video. Right. So next up is Synetic, and this is a 2010 lounge. And the only reason I was interested in this was just because of the start price. Um, and you can see we're like seconds away. So I thought I'd put in my bid up to 300. Now you can see it says reserve not met. And I was the highest. I thought we'd go into a bit of a bidding war. And uh, it never actually happened. 
strangely, uh, I did win it, but of course we never met the reserve. So I won it for 300, never met the reserve, and Synetic don't come back to you with any counter offer. So I unfortunately was never to see that car again, and I have no idea where it went from car.co.uk, unfortunately, which is a shame. And so we come towards the end of the video, and this Fiat 500 1.2 Sport on a 14 plate. Let's uh, let's just open this up and have a look. So it's from BCA and Crawley, and as you can see, there is from these angles anyway, very little. I say very little because we're coming to it. There is uh, some damage. But otherwise, it looks fairly clean. Um, let me just have a quick look. Sorry. I'm just going to have a... No. So. Yeah, the partial shelf is at the bottom there. Um, but usual, usual seats. We've gone all well, this time. Well, I've had two of these before. This is red. So this is different. Normally, uh, it tends to be uh, black. But we have a red interior. Nothing doesn't look like there's any issues there. Although, I'll be honest, and I say this now, that mileage is pretty much non-existent. And I think if you know your Fiat 500, you might know why that mileage is non-existent. Uh, on the interior here, no real issues, although there's some scratch marks here, as you can see by the power. And also we have... Um, a silver bit of trim missing from the vent up here. So interior wise, it wasn't necessarily the best. It's marked it out here as, um, so BCA use these like uh, rulers to identify any faults in paintwork or scratches or anything like that. Um, they've identified something here. Personally, you can't see it in the photo. Uh, so there's some paint chip going on here on the front bumper by the number plate, but that can easily be remedies and we can sort that out. And then the biggest issue we have is the crack in the rear bumper, as you can see. It's not going to be fixed. I don't think it's going to be fixable. Uh, it's more than just a crack. There's round here is not particularly good. So, yeah, uh, I you might be able to plastic weld it but it's maybe when i look at it we'll have a look but yeah it's not so good so that is a 14 plate sport now when we scroll down so it's eighty thousand. it's had eight owners quite a bit actually really in hindsight uh, it's a grade four Estimated value is around two seven. Uh, it has a service book with five stamps in it, and its last service is in twenty twenty one. And it has two keys, and I think the MOT uh, is due, yes, in September. Now here it is. It's a Cat D from twenty seventeen, so. Three years after it was made, it's been in an accident. But obviously we don't know what that is. Now, that is the car. And I have just paid, uh, well, on the hammer, I've just paid 1300 for this. Uh, with fees, uh, comes out at 1580, 15.89. So, with train travel to Crawley, we are just over 1600 for this. So, that is my latest purchase, 2014 Sport. So, these tend to be quite popular for people who don't want an R-bath. And it also this appeals to males and females based on the colour and it's a sport. I'm hoping... Might be able to turn this around quite quick and get it out the door and hopefully the audience for this is going to be 
um, pretty good. So I didn't capture it, but there was very little interest in it on the auction on the day. But yeah, that is that is the uh, that is the car. So that is going to be the end of the video. And the next time you'll see this, well, I say the end of the video, we're going to bounce to. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you what. Let me go and get it. And then you can see it. And then we'll go and show you around later in another video. And there she is. There she is. There is a video coming up of me collecting her. And a video of me coming up um, doing a walk around. So I don't want to give it too away. But yeah, we are in possession of a 500 Sport. Which does require some work i'll leave it at that but thanks very much for watching uh please like subscribe for more and until next time see you all later